Hey everyone, it's Dr. J here. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're diving into the world of table of contents creation. In many documents, a table of contents is an essential element. And guess what? I'm here to show you just how effortlessly it is to automatically generate one. But before we jump into the exciting MS Word part, let's quickly recap. In my previous set of videos, I walked you through the process of setting up a template using styles. Why is this important, you ask? While well, using styles is a prerequisite for seamlessly generating a table of contents. So if you're new to styles or need a refresher, I highly recommend checking out those previous videos. All right, now that we have our styles in place, let's dive straight into MS Word. Get ready to take your document organization to the next level. I'm currently in MS Word and I've got my template that I created previously. And this template contains my headings, my heading one, my heading two, and my heading threes that were created using the styles window. I no longer require this. I'm going to close the styles window. And on the left hand side, I have my navigation pane. This is also not required and I will close my navigation pane as well. So let's get into it. How do I create my table of contents automatically? Well, the first step is to make sure your cursor is positioned at that point where you want to create your table of contents. So I'm going to click at the beginning of my document and I'm going to press enter and that makes a new line. And now that I've created a new line, I'm going to insert my table of contents at the beginning of my document. To do so, I now need to go to my menu and I go to References. I click on References and this opens up the Reference tab. And here I have my table of contents. Clicking on this opens up a window and I can insert a table of contents automatically. I'm going to select the first style and that automatically generates my table of contents for me. I can now click on the table of contents and you will notice that there are a few icons that now appear. If I click on this down arrow, a similar window opens up as I, it did when I clicked on the table of contents menu. So I can control that menu using this particular icon and I can switch to the second table of contents style. So this now shows me a slightly different style. Looking at both the styles, I have my heading ones. I also have my heading twos and I then have the heading threes. And each of these are shown using the page number. If you want to display the table of contents with fewer levels, in other words, you don't necessarily want the heading threes or you don't want the heading twos to appear in your table of contents, you can then customize your table of contents. To do that, you can go back to your table of contents window and click on that icon and you have the option to customize the table of contents. And if I click on that, I can now decide how many levels I would like to view. So if I decrease this to two, 
now I am only going to see two levels. Once I click on OK, it's asking me whether I'd like to replace the contents. I will click on OK. And in this view, I am now seeing only my heading one and my heading twos. If you enjoyed watching this video, get ready to take it to the next level. Don't hold back. Smash that like button, drop a comment in the comment section, and make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on the contents that's yet to come. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.